Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial on Vivado. Here we will see how to simulate the Verilog code in Vivado. First go to create project, click on next. Here you can give the project name and the project location. I have taken it as project uh, 5. So you can choose the project location and choose RTL project and uh, click on don't do not specify sources here you need to choose the family of the hardware what you are going to use here I am using Arctic 7 and the package is CSG324 and according to the device which you are using you can choose this is creating the project now so here uh, you can add source to create our design create file and then give the file name here uh, let the file name can be logic gates you can give the file name as you want And here you need to specify the module name. Okay, module name should be a single word. And you can assign ports. I have taken it as uh, AB as input. And uh, two gates I am uh, trying to do here that is NOT gate and AND gate. So I am taking the outputs as NOT out and AND out. And change the direction to output for outputs and input for inputs and it will take time for the updation now you can find logic gates that is the module name is logic gates dot v which is create and by default you will be getting the input and output uh, ports within the module now I can write assign not out is equal to not off a and then assign and out is equal to a and b okay this is how you can write a module uh, here i am writing for the functionality of not gate and and gate the green mark which is indicating there is no error if there is any error it will be indicated with the red mark okay <clears throat> then to simulate this I need to add a simulation source again go for create file here I am going to uh, write the file name for my test pinch uh, logic gates underscore tb and the project location and the module name is also same I am taking there are no ports and here you can observe in the sources it is updating and under the simulation sources we will be having tb file and the module and here uh, we need to write the test pinch we need to declare uh, register ab means inputs in the module are registers in test pinch and outputs are wire in test pinch so not underscore out and underscore out and then now here i need to assign the values for ab So let me assign the values for A and B and before that I need to instantiate the module for that module name as it is and UUT the unit under test and the same input and output ports what you have used and declared in the order you are supposed to mention here first A then B 
then not out then and out and end with a semicolon now initial i am going to initialize a b initial begin let a is equal to 1 tick b 0 first and at the same time b is equal to uh, 1 tick b 0 i can assign four combination of values here four different cases of values so assign 0 0 first and then a is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 then I am giving a delay of 10 units 10 time units a is equal to 1 tick b1 and b is equal to 1 tick b0 and then after some uh, delay of 10 units a is equal to 1 tick b1 b is equal to 1 tick b1 okay these are my values you can assign uh, a delay there also so that it will display all the four okay and here you can observe the end module is indicated in the red mark that is an error you need to clear that and now the test pin should be having uh, the mark that is indicating the top module okay if it is not so right click and make it as a top module then go for run simulation it is uh, taking some time to simulate and here you can observe the timing diagram I am going to fit the timing diagram so that you can observe clearly the four cases of inputs what I have assigned with respect to the outputs zoom it out so for 0 0 you can observe NOT gate is giving 0 and AND gate is giving 0 and the other cases ok AND gate is giving 1 for 1 1 input this is how we can uh, write the Verilog code and we can simulate in Vivard 2018.2 ok so if you want to finish this with after 10 time units you can use as 10 dollar finish and then if you simulate and I am going to run the simulation and what actually the changes we will see in the timing diagram actually the timing diagram is going to be finished after that specified time units right you can observe after 40 nanoseconds if you calculate the delay 10 20 30 40 after that 40 nanoseconds it is finished okay thank you